you remember we left off with the unification of Germany with Otto von Bismarck fighting these three wars. He's the chancellor and he's the architect of, of Prussian foreign policy. And he decides that not only will fighting wars bring territorial gain to Prussia, but more importantly, it will spark a feeling of nationalism among the German states. Everybody loves a winner, and if Prussia is successful in war, the other German states will want to voluntarily join with Prussia and be part of that success. Success with Denmark, success against Austria, and the big kahuna is Napoleon III of France. Napoleon III, however, knows the Prussian army is strong. He doesn't live under a rock. He knows they defeated Austria in seven weeks. He is in no hurry at all to fight against Prussia. This is where Bismarck's realpolitik comes in. He twists the truth a bit. The ends justify the means. We're going to be ruthless in order to goad France to fight a war with us. Now, it is true that there was this dispute over the Spanish throne. The Spanish throne was vacant, and it looked like William I, the king of Prussia's cousin, was going to become king. And the French are really freaked out over this. So William's on vacation. It's the summer. He's in the Black Forest, which is a kind of spa resort area. And we can only imagine that he is enjoying relaxation in casual clothes. Perhaps he's even, you know, enjoying a mud bath or something. And he gets interrupted by this diplomat who's all in a panic. And William gets, you know, dressed and meets him and listens to the French diplomat. Uh, you know, his concerns over having a Prussian on the throne of Spain, which would mean France was in effect surrounded by Prussian kings, uh, which would put them in a bad spot. And William says, you know what, I get it. I'm sorry. I agree that this would be terrible for your country and I will tell my cousin to back off. But I'm on vacation. Please leave. Let's deal with this when my vacation is over. So Bismarck is back at home and he's reading the transcript of this meeting and he says, oh, you've got to be kidding me, William, this is what we've been looking for for years. We finally have our reason to go to war and you're capitulating, you're giving in. And then he says, well, you know, if I kind of edit the transcript, if I cut out the part where William says, oh, I'm sorry, I absolutely will tell my cousin to back off. And I, and I just leave the part where William asks the diplomat to leave. It looks like William is being dismissive of the French and not taking their concerns seriously and actually it makes him look very rude. And this edited version of the transcript is what is leaked to the press, which maybe wouldn't have been a big deal, but remember it's the summer and it just so happens that this edited transcript is published in French newspapers on July 4th, which you should remember is Bastille Day, which is like French Independence Day. So there is this war. First of all, nice pictures of the Black Forest. It's still a vacation spot. Um, and here's a kind of a drawing of the infamous meeting that led to the Ems dispatch. And of course, Bastille Day and a picture here of the invading Prussian army crossing into Paris, which was published in our newspaper back in 1871. Anyway, it is William I in Prussia that ultimately defeats, and we can talk a little more from the French perspective later, Napoleon III and France. You might think this would be the end of it. Um, it sort of is, um, but there's one last little piece to the puzzle. Bismarck needed to bribe the king of Bavaria, which he ends up doing. And um, the king of Bavaria had some gambling debts, and Bismarck basically said, you know, listen, we're going to turn you in if you don't convince William to take the throne of a ger unified Germany. And upon its unification, Germany became known as the Second Reich or the Second Great Empire, sort of using history and saying the Holy Roman Empire was the first great Roman Empire. We are now the second. There will be somebody who comes along and calls Germany the Third Reich, and that will be Hitler. <laughs>